Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, our lecture will be about the reverse applied bias. Like we know, we have two kinds of applied bias. The first one will, actually, the second one is uh, the reverse applied bias, like our book. And the first one is the forward bias. But like our book, uh, we will start from reverse applied bias. Now, like we know, when we apply a potential between two uh, the important regions, this, uh, these regions are the P and N regions. Then what does that mean? That means we will not dealing with equilibrium conditions anymore. And the uh, Fermi energy level will not be constant. This diagram will explain these two important things to us here, like we know, the intrinsic Fermi level or the Fermi level will not be constant anymore. Here, like the figure uh, illustrated to us, we dealing with a big drop here from this point to this point in P region. And like we're seeing here, we, uh, we know uh, the different uh, the big difference between the conduction energy band at the P junction and the conduction energy band in N uh, region. And the difference between the conduction energy band in uh, P region minus the conduction energy band in uh, N region will equal the applied voltage between these two sides, the N region and P region. And here, the potential, the uh, Fermi energy level at the P side will be near from the balance band and here the, at the P region, sure. And in N region, the Fermi energy level in N region will be near from the balance band, but in N region. And a small distance between the intrinsic Fermi level and the Fermi energy level in N region and the same thing with the P region, but uh, in, in P region, the intrinsic Fermi level will be above the EFP. Let's keep going here. This figure is 7.7, .7, like our source uh, has na its name, uh, the energy band diagram of the N junction under reverse bias. Now, this figure shows the energy band diagram of PN junction. When a positive voltage is applied to N region with respect to the P region, all this information will be clear to us at the next slides. Here at the uh, positive potential is downward. The intrinsic, the Fermi level in N region on N side, like I said before, is below the entrance a Fermi energy level at P side. And the difference between us, like I said before, equal the applied voltage in unit of energy. Here, the bolt barrier voltage equal the potential, Fermi potential in N side plus Fermi potential in P side. Here, this will be important to can calculate the last result about the total voltage in reverse bias. Here, like we know, V total equal the bolt barrier potential plus reverse bias. And we can say uh, because uh, bolt barrier potential equal potential, Fermi potential in N side plus uh, Fermi potential in P side, this equation 7.32 is created. And we can write this equation, uh, equation 7.32 uh, can written like that, 7.33. Here, like I said before, VBI is the belt barrier potential voltage. Uh, and we can calculate the total energy uh, equal belt barrier energy plus reverse energy and that twi the twice uh, have the same vector. And this to explain this uh, equation, let me go to this diagram here, like I said before, uh, energy uh, in, uh, inside the, the pleasure region 
has the same side, the same vector with the ener total energy out our, uh, sorry, out energy, out this depletion region. The both of them have the same vector because that we could calculate this equation like that by use the relation with the reverse energy, okay? Here, the free electron and hole in natural region will drift back to natural region of each side. This uh, diagram will be the most important diagram in all our lecture today. Uh, here, like we know, uh, when the depletion region is uh, created between N and P side, and what will happen, uh, actually we have in, uh, energy inside the depletion region, and we have electric power out this, uh, this junction, and the both of them has the different side, different vector. Here, space charged with it and electric field. Let's go directly to explain this important diagram. Like I said before, here we have the same depletion region, but when we connecting uh, this circuit like that by using the reverse uh, theory, reverse bias theory, by put the plus uh, polarity from the battery, because here we're dealing with AC current, with the N region, the minus, uh, minus region, minus side, okay? And put the minus polarity of battery with the positive, uh, with the positive side of PN junction. What will happen? Like we seeing here, the electrons and the uh, the depletion region will start to try to be bigger. How we could do that? By force, the electrons and holes at the both sides to through, to travel to the uh, end region and holes try to through, to skip to the P region. By that, this uh, depletion region will be bigger and just in the depletion region will, will stay the ionized, positive ionized and negative ionized. What that's mean? That's mean here, the energy inside the depletion region will be bigger. And with that positive relation with the energy outside the depletion and the force electric will be bigger than. At the same time, the width and no reverse bias will be smaller from the width and reverse bias, okay? E total equal E inside plus E outside. Any catrons, uh, I use this uh, red circuit, the red, uh, uh, red circle to show the three electrons and a black circuits uh, to uh, act the free holes. Here within an applied reverse bias voltage showing the direction of the electric field and induced by reverse bias, reverse bias voltage. Let's go to another important thing. Here with circuit like that, we're dealing with majority carrier or with minority carrier, or we dealing with both of them? Actually, the answer will be, we dealing just with majority carriers. Let's discuss why. Here, the majority charge carriers can't cross from the junction, why? Because cannot overcome, can't dealing with the high increasing in the barrier bulk potential, but, this way, the majority carrier will be not actually 100% zero, but near from zero. What that mean? That mean here we're dealing with just majority because like I said before, the majority 
won't be near from zero. That means we will dealing with just minority and reverse bias carriers. Near from micro ampere, that means uh, very small amount and the pollution depend on the temperature. Let's thinking uh, with, let's, let's find appropriate answer to this important question. Why, when we connecting the circuit and reverse bias, the out voltage will stay zero? This important question. And what will, what can, uh, how we can benefit from this characteristic to protect our devices? Let's explain that in uh, the next slide, and let's keep going. Here in Figure Seven Point. It shows a PN junction with an applied reverse bias voltage. Here, the electric field in the natural P and N regions are very small or equal zero. And with what, what that mean? That means the magnitude of electric field in the space charge region must increase. An increase with one condition, an increase above the thermal equilibrium value. The number of plus ions and negatively ions must increase and the electric field increases. What does mean? That's mean uh, the number of uh, electron, uh, sorry, the number of uh, positively and negatively charged have relation with positively relation with the electric field. Why? Because if the electron, if the, uh, the positively charged and negatively charged increase, that means the electric field will increase because that I say uh, they have positive, positively relation. For given impurity doping concentration, if the space charged with it increases, what that means, that means the number of uh, positively and negatively ions in the depletion region can be increased because like we know this uh, some mistake here because in the depletion region, just we're dealing with ions, positive ions and negative ions. Therefore, depletion region will be bigger around the junction. Thermal equilibrium depletion with it. Now let's try this important. We have now uh, some uh, important equations. We will use it to solve the uh, another uh, examples uh, and we will uh, solve 7.3 and 7.4 uh, exercise at the next lecture. This, this equation is very important. This the depletion with it equal to permittivity uh, bolt barrier potential voltage between two brackets, concentration of acceptor plus uh, concentration of donors divided on concentration of acceptor dot donors. All these force to, all these brackets to force have. Reverse bias depletion we did. What does mean? That mean no, we don't dealing with equilibrium condition anymore. Here, just we write more R here, extra R equal to permittivity VPI and the same bracket, all these brackets to force have. And like we know, this will be important. The bolt barrier potential and reverse bias, what equal equal the bolt barrier potential, normal bolt barrier potential plus the reverse bias voltage. We will put this bracket instead the bolt barrier voltage potential and keep going to write, to come write equation 7.34. We will depend on this equation to calculate the width at the reverse bias because like I said before, the last figure explained to us uh, the width and the reverse bias will be bigger than uh, the width at the normal depletion region. And like we know, uh, the width and the width 
reverse bias in N region equal to permittivity divided on electron uh, between two brackets, belt barrier potential voltage plus reverse voltage dot Na divided on Nd on this bracket, all this force to have this equation 7.28 and 7.29 to uh, with this reverse bias at the P region, because let me show that. Here, this will be the X uh, N R. And from this point, from this straight line, from the junction to the last, uh, this to this point, will act to us the X P R, the width uh, reverse bias at P region. And when we calculate all of them, we can determine the last result to uh, with this other reverse bias. Let's keep going. Like I said, this will be 7.30. Here, if doping in the N and P region is still constant. What will happen? The electric field decreases linearly from E equal zero at X equal minus with this reverse bias at P region to a maximum absolute value of E max at X equal zero junction. Here, this important, these uh, equations are very important to us. E max equal minus uh, electron donor concentration dot with it in P region at the reverse bias divided on permittivity. And the same, the same, uh, we can say the same name, the same nickname by using here uh, concentration of acceptor and the with it reverse by at P region, here in P region, here in N region. All of these uh, acts. Act equation 7.35. When calculate to find the last equation of Emax, what we'll do? Like we know, X and R the with it reverse with it in N region and reverse with it in P region. We have all of these. Uh, equations, we will put 7.28 and 7.29 on these equations and calculate it again to find 7.36 as Emax at reverse bias equal minus electron charge 1.6 dot exponential minus 19 between two brackets uh, bolt barrier potential voltage plus reverse bias voltage divided on permittivity uh, dot concentration of any acceptor dot donors divided on Na plus Nd, all this packet to have. This acts to us uh, equation 7.36. We can show that the maximum electric field in the PN junction can also be written as Actually, we will use these uh, two equations, 7.36 and 7.37, to, uh, to solve the equation 7.4. Uh, yes, 7.4, because uh, at one of them, uh, we have two, uh, uh, two examples, two exercises. Uh, we will solve it by using these two equations, one of them, we will give, uh, the Arthur will give us uh, the Emax result and wanted from us to calculate the donor concentration and the other one, uh, the other exercise, the Arthur wanted from us calculate the reverse bias by giving us Emax result. Let's keep going here, Emax equal minus two VBI uh, do, uh, plus reverse Bias voltage divided on total width. What does that mean? That's mean here 
like I said before, if wanted from us ND or NA, we can by using Emacs, we can use this equation. And if give us directly the total width or we can calculate XN and XD and after that calculate all of these elements to can determine the total width. We can, for example, calculate the VR, the reverse bias, if the author gives us the result of Emacs or just uh, calculate Emacs if we know all of these, all this uh, results elements. When W is the total space charged with it, like I said before, this important question. Uh, this question I asked it uh, maybe in the second uh, slides. Now let's solve it. Uh, when we, when, why, when uh, we connecting the circuit in reverse bias, the V out will stay zero. Because the total electric field will force the charge carries to go to the two sides via junction, like I said at the first slide. By that, the depletion region, what will happen? The depletion region will be bigger than. At the end, the depletion region resistance will increase more to prevent the current from passing through, except small amount of leaking current like we're seeing here at the, like the second figure at, uh, in this uh, lecture. Here, the electric inside the uh, electric field inside the depletion region from N to P side and the total and outside uh, electric field that has the same uh, vector from N to P side because that the E total will be E N plus E out and all of them have the same vector. Here, like we see, we're seeing the depletion region is bigger than and uh, all of them, uh, all the N type and P type be smaller than. And we explained why. By the situation, by this, uh, the point, this will forcing the electrons and holes to throw out to go to the N and P sides and lead to the depletion region to be bigger. When the depletion region be bigger, what does mean? That means has resist resistance uh, will increase more. When increase more, that will prevent the current from passing through to accept small amounts maybe microampere, not more than. Now let's go to, we, we will uh, explain uh, example and exercise 7.3 and 7.4 at the next uh, lecture. Let's go directly to the last slide. That will be important to us. Here, this diagram, explain to us what happened uh, when we connecting our circuit by using a reverse, a reverse bias theory. Here, the relation between the current by using microampere and uh, the volts, the voltage. Here, like we said before, the n-type with the positive polarity of battery and minus type, minus polarity with P, uh, side of diode. Here, when we use the, the power, we will put zero. We will see uh, zero in this uh, column. And after that, we will put one, two, three. For example, uh, let's say I'm using a diode on, uh, sorry, 10 electron volt. Uh, and like we know uh, in the market, we have uh, too much kinds of diode, 10 volts or more, something like that. Let's say I'm used diode uh, 10 volts. Here, when I put zero, we will say zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All of these numbers will dealing with zero and 
current column. After that, when we put uh, on, uh, sorry, on in the Turkish language, that's mean 10 because that I'm confused. Uh, when I put a uh, 10 volts between uh, inside the, this circuit, uh, the, uh, the, the result will stay zero. And after that, when I will uh, increase these, uh, these numbers more than 10, what will happen? We will start uh, let, we, we will start to let some amount of uh, current to through to be the same uh, number. That's mean when I put 11 will be uh, 10 and the current column. 12, 13, 14, 18, 20, 22 will stay 10. Uh, ampere, milli ampere at the uh, current column. And after that, when I put a huge number, let's see that, let's, let me use this word. For example, 30, what will happen? After that, re resistivity about this uh, diode will disaster, will uh, disappear, will broke. What does that mean? That means uh, our diode at uh, the situation will act like uh, open electric switch. Uh, sorry, close electric switch, like at uh, the forward bias. We will, we will be just like a cable. Let this, uh, all this current through from it without any different, without any characteristic. Uh, actually, we use the diode because this characteristic. Here, when this numbers still are the same number, 10, because I'm using diode uh, 10 volts. That's mean I can't, I can uh, protect my electric device by use this trick. If I'm dealing with the increased current, I will not lose my uh, electric device, but with limits. If we cross this limit, I will lose my diode and will be something like normal cable. Here, like we see here, this point, uh, this drop, this uh, point has name, this name is VBR. And here at this point, like I said before, we lost uh, our diode. This point uh, is, has name, uh, this name is breakdown effort, or we can say voltage. Some summary here, uh, the reverse bias, we don't uh, dealing with current bias through. Uh, just very little current, like I said before, like a microampere will through. At the knee, this, this knee, here, this knee. At the knee, there, uh, there, the reverse current increase rapidly, like we see here, increase rapidly. Rapidly, but the reverse vol voltage remains almost the same, like I said before, to some limit. And after that, we lost our diode and will be something like normal cable. Large reverse current can result in overheating. What does what this will do, this overheating, and possibly damaging the diode, like for example, 15, 50 volts. High, that's mean higher higher voltage. Overheating results, what will do? Overheating results from high speed electrons and the uh, making out electrons from this orbit to the conduction band. That's mean this will force the electrons to travel to go to the conduction band. After that, V bias will be bigger than uh, v 
BR, this BBR, I told uh, this, I say this point is the BBR. When the reverse bias voltage bigger than BBR, we will lose our diode, like I said before, and it will be like open circuit switch like in forward bias. Thank you for your listening, your patience. Uh, our lecture today is done. I will see you tomorrow, or I don't know, <clears throat> when I decide to explain uh, exercise 7.3 and 7.4. <clears throat> Stop, sure.